welcome guys to another wrestling figure toy hunt video. So good to be out toy hunting after the world's longest lockdown. We're going to hit up a couple of stores here and see what they've got. First up, we're heading to a Toy World store. Let's head in there and see what they've got. Looks like they've got a bit of uh, basic figures on the shelves here. Oh, I like this Kevin Owens. I think the uh, figure's great. The detail, I like the um, shirt, that's for sure. Trying to get this one back on the shelf there as we squeeze that one back in. What have we got here? Who's this here? Uh, Roderick Strong from the NXT. Is he still around? I haven't seen him in a while. Of course, Bobby Fish is headed over to AEW. Uh, Roderick might do the same. Uh, oh, and here we go. This is something I need. This is something I will purchase. I do not have a cane in my collection, so I'm definitely going to grab that today. What a find. What a great time to be out toy hunting, and uh, we'll get that cane. We'll put that down there for a second. Um, Rey Mysterio, Silver Surfer. Yeah, I don't like this figure. It looks more like a sort of a dodgy silver body paint. And I don't like that figure very much. Uh, Bailey, a great figure, but um, don't know why she looks so happy. She's always so mean and nasty. Um, but anyhow, what else they got as we sort of move around? As I um, put this Roderick back and uh, China, we've seen plenty of Chinas around. Chuck her down here, and uh, this is a good one. Whoa, Shawn Michaels, elite. This is uh, from around about those sort of 1992 days. 93 when he sort of finished up with the rockers and went solo and uh yeah great figure great accessories goldberg with the uh smackdown title there gee i um it keeps coming back doesn't he and he keeps losing he's just uh not that quality anymore but he does have the title there um edge yeah not a fan of this figure i do like the baseball bat and the sort of street fight attire but uh yeah not the best figure there let's uh get these back on the shelf i know they like to keep things tidy in the stores. Roman Reigns from the top picks. I think that's a great figure. I love the second head sculpt with the man bun. And uh, Rey Mysterio. I have never seen this figure out in the wild. So that's a good one to have on the shelves. Uh, some accessories there. Uh, Drew McIntyre with the uh, WWE Championship. Pretty good figure there. We'll pop those back on there. Some more basics. Um, Tony Storm. We've got Seth Rollins. Seamus, another Seth, and uh, back here. Oh, yeah, let's drag this out. Um, Shinsuke Nakamura, and that's a great figure. I love the uh, outfit he's got on there. Great wrestler. Always enjoy watching his matches. An Andrade figure. Um, pretty cool, but I think I'll hold off until we get an AEW one of him. Uh, gee, hasn't he, isn't he doing well in AEW? Uh, they just seem to do that, don't they? Bring out the best of those ex-WWE figures. But I will pick up this Kane figure. So Hunt Store number one has worked well as we are about to move on to the second one. And this is Target. Of course, look how many people, if you can see that, lined up after the, getting out of lockdown. They just want to get out and buy things, don't they? Um, the ba uh, Some elites here, Undertaker. They're not $12. That sign up, sticker up there was for something else. But the Undertaker, love that figure, of course. Um, Carrion Cross, I've got this one in the collection. Great tattoo work. Where's he gone? He has disappeared. He appeared on Raw a couple of times, and then he was gone. Um, Edge. And uh, Carrion in the basics, plenty of those. And as we look through here, hoping to find something really decent. Uh, Pete Dunne, wrestling rings. Yeah, I don't like these rings with the uh, bouncy, squishy ring mats. Uh, they're just, you can't play with the figures on them. You can't get that action going, can you? Uh, this is a great find, Alistair Black. Or, of course, Malachi Black now in AEW. And just like I was saying about Andrade, AEW just seem to bring out the best in these wrestlers when they come across the crowds. Just go nuts. And the storylines is just so much better in AEW. Uh, sifting through here, what else they got? Some Bray Wyatt's with the Huskus, the pig boy <laughs> puppet. Um, not much by the looks of it. Oh, there's a Becky Lynch back here. Let's drag her out. I think she's got that title back. The women's, the Raw Women's Championship. But did, did she have to swap it with Charlotte or something like that? Something like that anyway. Uh, so we sift back here. Hoping to find something decent. Something new. 
We're after those sort of elite 87 figures, but I don't think we're going to have too much luck today. Back there, another Undertaker, Liv Morgan. Yeah, not much new on the shelves here, I guess, uh, given we've had such a long lockdown. Um, we'll stuff this one down here. There is something I caught my eye in here, and I think this was... Yes, it's the Undertaker with the broken shovel. He was featured in one of my previous videos, and it's still here on the shelf. Um, but we'll pass on that one, that's for sure. Not much else there in the WWE section. But let's move on and just, because it's a toy hunt, let's check out what else is on the shelves. Some Transformers. And uh, these are pretty cool. These are, you know, re-releases or reissues from 1990, 1988, the Headmaster series. Look, little robot guy here transforms from the little robot into the, um, just the head of the robot. <laughs> Pretty cool. They were from 1988. I remember these when I was young, and uh, certainly they're a great ones. So I'm not really collecting Transformers these days, but uh, great retro boxes. Good to see them on the shelves. And uh, sift through here. There is a Decepticon one. I wonder if they've got him. Uh, what? Yes, he's sort of like a big bat type character. Mind Wipe, I think he was called. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. These the Decepticon one. Very, very cool. What else have they got as we sort of pan around? Some more Transformers. Um, looks like a Dinobot. Uh, Inferno. He was a pretty cool G1 character. The fire truck. Big Optimus Prime. Pretty cool. Uh, some Space Jam figures. I never saw the first one, so I can't con sort of comment on whether the new one's any good. Let me know in the comments if you thought it was good. Star Wars, Mandalorian. Uh, here we go, some Marvel Legends figures. Uh, I know some of you guys like these. There's plenty of toy hunting videos that show these. These ones are from the Eternal series. Are they rare or not? Um, sort of a blue-headed Iron Man. It says there is some sort of uh, AI version. I have no idea. I'm not really into the Marvel Universe. Uh, froggy type looking guy. And some more... Uh, from the Eternals series as well. Uh, what else have they got? Let's have a bit of a shuffle. But good to be out toy hunting after all these time. Just seeing these guys on the shelves. Some Star Wars, the sort of Shadow Stormtroopers, I guess. Pretty cool. And um, Han Solo in the Hoth gear when he went out to rescue Luke. When Luke was tr lost in the snow. Now, this is a cool one comes with a sort of build a figure but it's I don't know what he's from let's flip it around and see if there's a picture of the final figure and oh I don't know who that is he's like a giant leprechaun or a giant riddler from the big DC I don't know anyhow not my thing we've got some pop finals all the classic characters Pikachu baby Yoda baby Groot <laughs> Well, he's not really a baby, that's just his normal size, isn't he? Love this Grandmaster J figure from Run DMC. Comes with the... The decks, look at the decks there. And these are new. I wonder if anyone thinks these are cool. I don't play the game myself, but the Among Us figures, little figurines there, they look pretty cool. I love the colours. This one has an egg on its head. I have no idea why. This one, The other one has a toilet paper roll on their head. Got no idea what that's about. If you know, let me know in the comments. They're very colourful. They're kind of cool. I know that a lot of the kids are into the game, so... Some smaller ones here, some two-packs, and uh, that one's meant to be sort of a bird. I can see a beak. And the pink one's got a pretty flower in its head. Or on its sort of hoodie, I would guess. I don't even know if they're meant to be human or are they meant to be robots. No idea. But anyhow, great to be out on a toy hunt. Hope you enjoyed that video. I'm glad I picked up that cane. Please subscribe to the channel. 61 subscribers at the moment. That has been fantastic. Thank you. And a couple of my videos have cracked a thousand views. Thank you so much. Take care.